Hello, patient. How are you? I'm not using your name because I want to share this for teaching purposes. Your case looks great. And I have a little trick that I use in cases like yours to get the result we want. So as you remember, when you started, your teeth were hitting directly on the edge. This is called an edge to edge bite. And because of that, your teeth are getting gouged out. Now, this amount of chipping and wear is only moderate given your age. Now, I'm not saying anything about your age, but if you were 18, I would be much more concerned. But obviously, we don't want it to get worse over time. And so we wanted to improve your bite so that there would be less wear just from normal function and potentially room for you to have bonding done on these teeth. Because I think you might have told me you had bonding in the past and it would chip, or maybe they said they couldn't do bonding. Now, the challenge in your case is that your upper teeth were in reasonable alignment with some minor crowding, but your lower teeth were fairly crowded. And as we get these teeth straight, what happens is they come forward and it works against what we're trying to do. So my plan involved filing between your lower teeth so we could get your lower teeth to come in and moving your upper teeth forward a little bit. The net result we want is to have your upper teeth in front of your lower teeth. Now, we've done a few refinements. We've been treating you now uh, for apparently 10 months so far. And on the right is where you are now, which is close to where I want to be. You see how your top teeth now, they look really nice and aligned and a fuller smile. Your lower teeth look not perfectly straight, but much better than when you started, especially in this area here. And your bite, as I said, is your upper teeth are just barely in front of the lower. So I still need to just go from here to here to get that little bit of clearance so that we, the lower teeth will not be touching this worn out area so that you can have length added to these. You asked me last visit, I don't think you would need veneers. It could just be bonding at the edge. But the little trick that I use that we didn't talk about that you didn't mention to me, which I think is good because maybe you're not even aware or it doesn't bother you. But in order to get your upper teeth to end up in front of your lower teeth, there's only so much filing I could do on your lower teeth. In fact, I didn't even do this much because your teeth are actually kind of slender, your lower teeth. But instead, what I did is I advanced the upper front six teeth and currently you have a space behind your canine that I created. It was not there before. Nobody sees that space. I think you might have told me that you are getting food caught there, or maybe you didn't. I do this in a lot of patients. I can make it a little bigger, actually, which makes it more cleansable. But doing this allowed your upper teeth to be advanced forward. You have to have a space here because you can't bring all the teeth forward. So I nudged it forward a little bit, and this is what helped. If I did not do this on the top, you wouldn't have spaces. That would be nice, but your teeth would be more on the edge, and then that would not be consistent with what we want as the end result. And I would have had to bring your lower teeth back more, which would have meant more lower filing. So anyway, here's where we are now. And I suggest that we get another batch of aligners for the lower to bring the lower back. Your upper teeth, I do not think need any movement. I think they're spot on like they are now. Let me know what questions you have. The lower would also level a little bit. This tooth is taller. So I would get that tooth to be closer to level. Let me know what you think. Take care.